Bitch, I'm a hot than a motherfucker. Y'all, I'm late as fuck. Y'all know I just saw that Whitney Houston movie yesterday. So I'm on a plane, right? Coming from Atlanta, coming, I mean, going back, coming back to Houston. And I'm like, let me see what movies they got. So I see Whitney. I'm like, well, let me watch this. I'm like, this ain't gonna be about shit. Now I'm like, these hoes gonna lie. They ain't gonna tell the truth. <sighs> y'all, when I tell y'all, I was sitting right in the middle. First of all, I hate sitting in the middle. I love sitting by the window because I like to go to sleep. <laughs> when I tell y'all, I was in the middle of two white men just crying, girl. Girl, crying. Crown boots. Do you hear me? <sighs> when Houston was that bitch. Like, on some real shit. I don't know if it's just because I'm on a high right now. When Houston probably is like the greatest singer that has ever lived, girl. That bitch could sing her throat off. Do you hear me? Girl, I felt so bad because, like, the whole drug thing, and, you know, when I look back on it, I feel like we all were fucked up for laughing at that woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you saw the skits on TV, and everybody was like, crack is why I make too much money to smoke crack. Like, we all laughed and joked and kiki. And the shit not even funny. Like, damn. Like, I just was like, that woman, damn. Like, it's sad, like, you really... Like, you really have to, like... Hopefully, I feel like a lot of people have grown... Like, in the way that you think. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not funny when people are on drugs. Oh, that, was, that was my sound. Um, it's not funny when people are on drugs, you know. Like, who the fuck wants to be a crackhead? Who the fuck wants to be a meth head? Like, nobody want, no, like, nobody grows up saying, I want to be a crackhead. You know, I want to be a cokehead. Like, nobody does that, you know. It was just sad. Like, the whole movie was sad. Like, her brother... <laughs> so, basically... I always thought, I always thought that Bobby was the reason Whitney was on drugs. Clearly, that was not the truth. Her family was the reason that bitch was on drugs. Bobby just came in and just took it to a whole nother level. But it was because of her. I mean, it was because of her family. That's it. Her brother, her brother. And like, at a certain point, I, this is going to sound crazy. At a certain point, I kind of get it a little bit, you know, like as far as like them saying, you know, we started smoking weed. I would rather have her do it with us than to go out there and do it with somebody else. I kind of get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I kind of get it. Like, you feel as though if you can give your sister or brother the shit, you know what's in the shit versus them going out there and getting some shit laced with some other shit on top of some other shit, you know? So I was kind of trying to get where they was coming from, but at the end of the day, baby, you are the reason Whitney was a, was a crackhead, a cokehead, whatever you want to call it, a drug addict, you know? Um, I felt like if they would have let Whitney live in her truth, her real truth, her real truth, which included somebody named Robin. Whitney was a lesbian. Straight up. Whitney was a lesbian. Her family didn't like that shit. They still don't like that shit to this day. Um, if Whitney... From what I got from it, Robin was the only person who Whitney pretty much listened to. At the end of the motherfucking day, sissy, you to blame. You to blame, sissy. Your trifling ass husband, Clive, and your sons. I mean, I get it. I'm not going to lie. At, at a certain point, we all grown. We're going to do what we want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to do what we want to do. Regardless if, it, regardless if people have told us that it's wrong 
All right. Excuse me. We still gonna do what we want to do. Oh, excuse me. So, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say that Whitney wasn't doing shit, you know. Did, wasn't nobody making Whitney do drugs. But, like, God, I really do believe that if Whitney would have been able to live in her truth, which is a les being a lesbian, Whitney, Whitney Houston would probably still be alive right now. I thought it was fucked up how they, didn't include, how they did not include Robin in the documentary. Was Robin in the documentary? Because I didn't see her. I didn't see her talking that one time. And I watched the whole thing. Now I was crying, wiping tears from my eyes, but I don't remember. I remember her like showing pictures and stuff, them showing pictures, but I don't remember her like sitting down and talking. I do think that if Robin, I think if Whitney would have been able to live in her truth, Whitney would still be alive. But because of Sissy and them brothers and her family, she went and did just like a lot of niggas do: go out there, marry a bitch, have some kids. Because that's the right thing. You, that's what you're supposed to do. And then they start cheating on their wife with a nigga who they met online somewhere. Basically, they made they made Whitney hop up on a dick and do a, a full split with a nigga who she didn't want to be with. I guarantee you, every time Bobby probably climbed on top of her, she was probably thinking about robbing. Okay. Girl, Jeff Bezos. Girl, he really out with that woman, too. But you know, like somebody said, girl, he don't give a fuck. That man filthy rich, still. You know what's so crazy, y'all, on some real shit? I think he been cheating on his wife. Been cheating on his wife. She probably just got fed up with the motherfucking shit. You know what I'm saying? I keep telling motherfuckers, it ain't what you do, it's how you do it. Cheat on your wife. But bitch, you better not let nobody find out what's going on. She might give your ass a pass. But bitch, when everybody else find out, when the bitches are publicly humiliated, <laughs> that's when bitches start filing for divorce and taking half of your shit. Okay? On some real shit. Because he been cheating on that woman. Been cheating on her. He just got sloppy with it and didn't give a fuck. And she didn't give a fuck. That's why she said half of your goddamn money. Half of y'all goddamn money. Anyway, so yeah. It was a good document, man. When she <laughs> when Whitney when Whitney when Whitney was going in when Whitney and Sissy was going in on Jenny Jackson and Paula Abdul, bitch, I was on that plane hollering. <laughs> Girl, Whitney said Paul sat in the best. How Whitney said, "How are you off key on top of the record?" <laughs> yes, ma'am. I was living for every bit of it, every bit of it. Every bit. That was a good documentary. Like I learned a lot. I'm glad they were true. They were truthful. I will say this much. I thought they were very truthful. I thought they were very honest. Um, I feel like Bobby was not being honest. I feel like Bobby don't want to accept the part that he played in Whitney's life. Like I said, Whitney is grown. Whitney do what she want to do. But Bobby, you don't want to talk about the drugs because you know. Bobby. Bobby, no. Bobby, no. That's why he didn't want to talk about the shit. Bobby, you got some blame in that too, nigga. Um... Everybody got blame in it, you know. And like I said, Whitney is grown. I'm not trying to take away the responsibility from Whitney, but Whitney is grown. But, girl, y'all fucked over Whitney. Y'all fucked over Whitney. Whitney is a national treasure, baby. Was, is, however you want to say it. Well, I guess she was. She's not here no more. But Whitney Houston was that girl. I felt so bad for her. Like, damn, like. And when you, when you look back at it, like, and when you watch a documentary, it's just so fucked up how, like, we all are, like, just sitting back and, you know, laughing and making jokes out of crack is whack. Like, this woman needed some fucking help. I don't know. I was on the crane. I was on the plane crying and shit. <sighs> yeah, Bobby wasn't being honest. I feel like I feel like everybody else is being pretty much honest. Except for Bobby. I feel like Bobby wasn't being honest. Um, I feel like oh, and Bay. When she when she said uh, y'all think I'm being defensive when she was like nothing happened to witness uh, earlier life then it revealed that she was molested by that goddamn Dee Dee Warwick what's her name one of them bitches Ugh. made me sick to my stomach um, Dion Warwick's cousin somebody Dee Dee what's her name Dee Dee Warwick I don't remember some trifling ass bitch going around her molesting children 
That's who she was. Um, yeah, I feel like, you know, Aunt Bay, Aunt Dee, what was her name? I feel like just a typical black family, shit happened. You probably heard, you probably, she probably heard the stories, but she didn't want to say it was true. Whitney was molested, girl. Point blank, period. Whitney was a lesbian. Point blank, period. Y'all made Whitney marry a man. Y'all made her, y'all made her feel pressure to marry a man. Point blank, period. If Whitney was still, if Whitney could have been with Robin, living her best life, I ain't going back and forth with you niggas, Whitney would probably still be alive. Because Whitney loved Robin, and Robin loved Whitney. Point blank, period. <laughs> okay. Y'all should have left Whitney alone. Whitney didn't want no motherfucking children. <sighs> that was a good-ass documentary. That was a great documentary, y'all. Great. Girl, look at my hair. Girl, it's starting to thin, y'all. Let me scoot her over. Let me scoot her over, y'all. Let me fix her. Y'all see my ceiling? Let me show y'all. That was her. That's from Hurricane Harvey. You know, we had the hurricane a couple of years ago. The hurricane. Um, see, now you still good. See, look. That's from the hurricane. When the hurricane hit a couple of years ago, my ceiling was like that, and I never just too much got it fixed. I really didn't care because I had planned on moving about this motherfucker. I live on the second floor, and it was so crazy when it happened, y'all. I didn't even know the ceiling was like that. Probably like, honestly, probably like a week or two later. I mean, who just look at their ceiling? I don't. And so anyway, one day I was laying, laying on my couch. And I just had, I'm like, what the fuck? And I was like, oh my God. I ain't gonna say it was a week or two, probably a few days later. And so I didn't think nothing of it. Because I was like, I'm moving out this motherfucker anyways. But I'm still here. But yeah, girl. That hurricane fucked my whole ceiling up. Fucked the whole ceiling up, honey. And it's so crazy because... I don't even I don't even remember my floor being wet. Like, I was like, oh my god, like my floor was not wet, so I'm like, how did all that happen? Like, and my floor not even get I don't know, child. This this ain't my shit. Hello? Um But anyways. So yeah. It was a good documentary. Like I was like so I don't even think like to me I be, I don't even feel I feel like they need to let Whitney rest. Like I need to I think they need to leave Whitney alone. I feel like whatever if you watch a documentary that should be enough. I really do feel that. Like I just feel like they need to leave, leave, let Whitney rest in peace. It's you know she you know. It's so sad that her, like, what, how can I say this? Like, when you think of, like, the Beyonce's and stuff, like, Beyonce is, the only thing that can ruin Beyonce is herself. You know what I'm saying? Like, as far as, like, drugs and shit like that. And I don't think that would happen. Hell, I didn't think it was that A would happen with Whitney Houston. Um, I don't know. I feel like y'all should watch it. If y'all haven't watched it, y'all need to watch it. It was good as it was good as fuck. That when Houston can sing her motherfucking ass off. Yeah, that bitch can that bitch can sing her ass off. Sing down. Anyways, yeah, that's it. Um I just I know I'm so late, boo. Like I never even really just too much wanted to watch it. I was like, this is gonna be some bullshit. These hoes ain't gonna be honest, they're gonna be lying, they ain't gonna tell the truth. Them hoes told the truth. Except for Bobby. Except for Bobby. Except for Bobby. But I do think it's unfair. Like, I, I, I thought the whole time that Bobby had got Whitney put on drugs. I thought it was Bobby's fault. I really, really, this entire time. And girl, the truth of the matter, it was, it was her motherfucking brothers. The fuck? Then her daddy was trying to sue her for her goddamn money. Oh, Whitney, like, she is. Ugh. It's sad when you see somebody like that great and their downfall is something like drugs. Okay, y'all gotta go, y'all. Bye.